Hello from chinnature.com. This is Mark Josie. As you see, here's my Omega uh, supercharger compressor. And please search YouTube for a review uh, that I did before. So this time I'm going to do a test of a 13 CI cubic inch, okay, 13 cubic inch tank. Now I'm going to degas it, and, and then we're going to see how fast it will fill up when the tank is empty. So right now the tank is empty, no more air inside, very nice. Okay, very nice. As you see, the tank is empty, and we're going to turn on the supercharger. It's extremely easy. One button to power on, and you can see the red light already turn on. And right now, let's take a look at the gauge on the tank. It's zero, okay? It's zero. Okay, guys, um, now we're going to do two things. One, we're going to pump the thing with just the compressor. So I'm going to take this hose right here. This is the hose. Okay. We're, we're going to just pump the thing with this attach. And then the next is going to use the Diablo air drying system, the filter, um, to filter the moisture and air inside the tank and refill the tank. So it's going to be a little bit um, boring. <laughs> I'm going to put a phone uh, around here to keep track of the time and then I'll do the stopwatch thing. So right here is the tank. Let's uh, plug it in first. Okay. Bleed screw right here have to be turned in. Basically that's all you need to do, nothing more. Okay. And right now the gauge here is set to 3200 PSI. So let me get my phone uh, for a stopwatch. Okay. Stopwatch. Okay, so we're going to watch it and see how it does, okay? Okay, stopwatch. Okay, ready? Three. Okay, this is without the uh, air filter. One, two, three. Okay, I will tell you the time later. Okay? Okay guys, so the compression stopped. As you can see, the red light is on. Okay, uh, I mean thing is stopped at 8 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm going to degas the hose. And the tank right now is still very, not even warm, it's cold, okay? The tank is cold. So uh, the tank is now filled to a bit over 3,000 PSI, which is okay. Okay, so now we're going to degas the whole tank and we're going to pump it up again. <laughs> Press the button and it will keep doing it. Really nice. Okay. The air coming out is very, very dry. Okay, okay done. No more air. Okay, let's uh, get it started again. And this time we'll be using the uh, Diablo air drying system. If you're pumping in the USA, that will be a little bit easier. Okay, so this is the Diablo air dry system. We're gonna plug this into here, which is the just plug and play in line. Everything is super easy. Just snap, there we go. It actually gives you a little bit of extension of the cord on the other side right here, okay? So here comes with a test plug. We're gonna get rid of that. Not changing the settings on the compressor at all. Same tank. Now we're gonna try and pump it. Okay, so right now this, this screw is tight and we're gonna reset this thing. How do we reset it? Okay, there we go. Ready? One, two, and three.
Okay everyone, uh, right now we are stopping at about 23 minutes and 54 seconds. Right here you can see the uh, timer. I stopped it a little bit later than it is, but anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so that's about it. And you can see the red light on, that's the gas. Because the Diablo air dry system is so big and uh, you need a lot of air inside to actually pack it up, so more degassing needs to be done. You see how much air is inside the system, right? The two hose and also the drying pack. And now we degas and we're done. So the air right here is just nearly a, like a bit over 3K. Really good. Okay. Okay, so right now this thing can take a rest and my conclusion is Okay, let me just zoom out Okay guys, so now we're done with the uh, pumping. I mean compressoring <laughs> Okay, so after pumping I would say in the winter if you're pumping in Canada Toronto because the air is very thin in the, in the winter it takes a lot more time to pump than in, in the summer um so right now it takes about 33 to 30, uh, sorry, 23 minutes and 50 something seconds, so about 24 minutes to pump up a 13 CI tank. That's a long, long time. So um, I would say if you are very like in need of air uh, and you're using a compressor, you would need a uh, fuel station tank or one of those 90 CI fuel station to top up your tank right away and you can keep using it and when you're done uh, back home and you have a lot of time there you can put the big tank to this and then pump the big tank up and uh, use the big tank later for a faster refuel session but if you're not in a rush this is totally fine okay so without the air drying system it will give you a full fill um, to in about eight minutes or so in the winter and six minutes in the summer uh, sometimes a little bit faster depending on where you are and how thick the uh, air is etc but also don't forget always uh, trust the Diablo air drying system because this thing really does get rid of a lot a lot of moisture or every every uh, harmful particle that you can take off like this thing is going to filter it out so you want the best air for your guns and tank to preserve the life of your of the uh, gears that you're using um, and not only that by shooting with better air it also increased the velocity the performance and all that stuff as well as from uh, my experience so when you when your air quality is better the power is better the consistency is better everything is better so clean dry air is the most important thing to any uh, PCP air gunner and also paintball players that use uh, HPA anyway so thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like and stay tuned for more videos on the Omega Supercharger and such okay bye, -bye. remember to subscribe and like bye, -bye.